Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So yesterday the update hit um, and I took a quick look at all the new features of the update. Today I'm going to be doing a proper review of the new monsters. Like yesterday I took a quick look and basically said they're, most of them are, are, are shitty but um, and most of them aren't all that useful for everything but I'm going to um, talk a little bit about what they can potentially be used for. Alright so this is like Sea Free Sea Freed, which is the um, the clan battle monster. You can get this guy from clan battle. I think you need 600 points to, to get him, and he comes in random elements. I'm not sure if the light dark versions are, are summonable, but um, if they are, then it'll be pretty cool. Um, so he has morale boost and elemental at edge, which makes him really, really strong for, for the clan battles. He also has a clan battle um, shield or protector shield which is you know 40 to 45 percent um extra defense which which is really really high you know because he's an at five so this is a really good monster for clan battle like all around um all clan battles because he has elemental edge which means he's good against any any monster um he's also a good farmer as well a very very good farmer because of elemental edge um and morale boost because you can build him with lots of attack i think he's an attacker right he's an he is an attacker um he has I think it's pretty high stats. Yeah, his his attack stat, like even at five stars, is really really high. Um, so I think he's definitely a really really good farmer if you if you can get him to to um, you know to six stars. I think even at evil two he should be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, like even at five stars, he he already has two thousand five hundred attack, which is like a lot higher than the the fire arthur um so he's a really really good monster to use for like farming and stuff um this is the water one the water one has sap and seal sap now works against the 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 uh, the clan battle boss so it's it's pretty good um he's, he's a sapper seal isn't that useful unless it's in a actually it's still pretty useful outside of arena and a lot of farming like golden speed 10 if you seal the moon flowers they deal like a lot of lot less damage so you can actually use them there as well he is water so he's not really usable for um like he's not he's not really good for b7 or b b8 um because ba is 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 wood so um not too sure what he can use this monster for i i guess i guess he's no, I actually no. He's 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 not good. Like the 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 combination of um, sap on first skill and seal on second skill is not not a good combination. Just my opinion. Um, but I think if you just want to use him as a sapper, like a sapper to kill bosses slowly, he's definitely pretty good because he is he is tank type, which means he has high HP. Um, he also has pretty pretty decent amount of defense, I think. Yeah, even at five stars, only it's already a thousand seven hundred, which is actually pretty good. Um, and and yeah, I guess I guess if anything else, you can you can uh, if you get him as a variant, you can use him for for climb battles. Um, so this is the the wood one. The wood one is there's a lot of new monsters. So the wood one is defense down and stun, which is actually really good because defense down you can use pretty much everywhere, not just in not just clan battles. You can use it in any dungeon. Um, defense down is definitely really really nice. And then stun is also really useful. It's also very useful in um, arena as well. Like AOE stun and defense down is also very nice for arena. So um, he has tank type, which is actually pretty good. But he has he has he actually has pretty pretty high um, base attack because he is a nat 5 so I guess if you gem him up like just you know hybrid style attack defense um, attack defense HP like I do for my fire Arthur um, then you can kind of use him as a utility monster kind of the same way that um, I use my fire Arthur for like arena and stuff um, the light one is, I think this guy is pure clan battle monster, like Courageous Strike. There's the only place where bosses have a lot of HP or is like the in, in actual clan battles. I think in some of the elemental dungeons, I I think during in the dark dungeon or light dungeon, the boss also has a lot of HP. So um, this this can actually work really really well against um, those bosses. But I think this monster is basically designed just to just to really do clan battles. He's also balance type, which um, 
which means his stats are well his stats are actually okay like um you know his defense would be slightly higher his attack is slightly higher but then his hp is a lot lower than like the wood one or the the water one um what do you want it wants me to click this crab this is the dark dark um siegfried i think this guy is like probably one of the strongest monsters in the game to be honest um he has a nat 5 defense aggressor there hasn't really like there hasn't been you know this this is i think he's the only one like he's dark all right let's, just let me uh list all all of his pros he's he's dark which means he has higher crit damage he's um, a nat 5 which means he has a lot of stats like really high stats he's a defense aggressor which makes him super fucking op and he is um I think that's it. I think I think all those three combined together just makes him like one of the strongest monsters in the game right now. So I think he's definitely super super strong. Um, and plus he looks cool as fuck. So there's there's that. That's that's bonus points. All right. Um, all right. So let's let's look at the the Garudas. I think these ones are. I'm not sure they're summonable. I think they they might go on rotation with the Siegfried like for for clan battles or maybe they're summonable. Um, they're the new summonable Nat fives. Possibly. Um, so the fire one has seal and stun. Two turn seal. This is very very strong. Seal is a very very strong debuff. You can use this for um, mostly mostly in PvP, but you can also use this in um, some some dungeons because some there are a few monsters in in dungeons that have like pretty threatening skills, and if you seal them, they they don't do that much. Um, and then AOE stun is always nice. Seventy percent chance is in, is actually higher than than um, than this guy. I think. No, he has 80% chance. Okay, he's not as strong. Um, <laughs> Alright, but at, at least AoE stun is still pretty pretty, pretty damn good. This guy's got defense down. 80% chance for two turns is actually really high to if you compare it to a lot of other defense breakers. Um, An elemental edge, which makes him pretty good for, for clan battles. I think he's just really designed for clan battles. Even their variant skill is good for clan battles. He's also an attack type, which means um, he can do a lot of damage. I think... He'll just dish out as much damage as possible and then and then die in clan battles pretty much. Um, the wood one is also I think a clan battle monster because of courageous strike and his leader skill. If you can actually get one of these as a as a variant, um, adrenaline is also really nice. It means that he's gonna for sure be able to use this um, on the second turn, or if he survives, he can use it a, you know a lot more on on other turns. He is balance type, which means he it isn't. That his stats aren't that all that ideal, but um, it's still pretty good to be honest. Like it doesn't really matter because Nat fives all have like pretty pretty high stats. So this is, this is the light one. Um, I think this one's probably the strongest Garuda because of Shock and Predator. This you can use anywhere. Like if you if you land Shock on on someone in arena, like 80% chance two turn Shock is insane. Like this is super super strong. Um, if you can land this in arena, it's basically like you just defense broke someone for two turns and you stun them for two turns. It's an 80% chance, which is like insane. Um, and he has Predator, which makes him super strong. Like he, he just nukes really hard. He's light type, so he has 20% 20% base crit, which is also pretty good. Um, and he is an attacker, and he also he has pretty pretty high attack stats. I keep wondering why these why like this guy has like such high attack compared to other Nat fives. I mean, it's still the the, the light ones um, definitely really really good. Definitely a beast. So this guy's got elemental edge and blind. Blind I think is a debuff really made to counter the the uh, the raid boss. I think this if you stack it with attack down will make the boss do a lot more damage so he can survive more turns and then you know deal more damage to him. Um, elemental edge is definitely really good but he is dark type so I think I don't think elemental edge is that important because he's not he's not weak against any any element anyways. Um, but then dark type monsters do have that nice base 100% crit damage which makes him hit a lot harder with this so that's also pretty nice. Alright, let's look at the um, these ones, the Nat 4s. The Nezas. Ne ne Neza. Neza. Alright, Neza. Um, Alright, so this is this is um, 
attack down defense down this is actually really good like these debuffs are good everywhere 60 percent chance attack down defense down you can these are used these these debuffs are useful for clan battles. They're also useful um, in pretty much any dungeon, to be honest. Like you can use her for B9 because she is she is fire. Attack down, defense down is really nice. You can also use this use her for arena because of the the debuffs. You know, just build her utility. She has tank type, I think. I'm not too sure about her stats at four stars. Um, it's actually pretty high HP, to be honest. I really like this the, the monster design, like the char the monster design of of these monsters. Like she looks, um, she looks super pretty. So that's 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 also bonus points. All right, that's also bonus points. Um, the the water one has attack down and blind. I think this is the most unique one. I did um, touch touch on this yesterday. The the reason why I think this is really strong is because this brings really really strong debuffs, like really strong defensive debuffs to the table. Basically, if you can land attack down plus blind on on the the on any unit um, they'll be doing a lot less damage because they won't they'll be hitting for a lot less and even if they and this decreases their crit chance so they they have a, a much lower chance to well actually I don't know how much lower um, the chance to crit would be but basically they 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 wouldn't be able to crit and also they would wouldn't be able to hit hard um, blind by itself I don't think is all that strong but if you pair it with attack down I think it definitely does um, scale e exponentially you know, if you if you think about it, like if you just lower someone's attack, but then you he he could still hit you for like half the damage, but then um, if it will still do like an okay amount of damage if it crits, but then you lower his attack abilities even more by reducing his crit rate, which makes him just you know hit like a wet noodle. Um, she is balance type. I don't think balance type monsters are are all that good. Might want to build her, probably build her hybrid. I'm not I'm not too sure. Um, I can't really say too much about that. This one's got HP Siphon and AoE Seal. Um, AoE Seal, I think they're, they're introducing Seal on a lot, lot of monsters to try to counter the, the defense aggressor meta to in, in Arena, but then everyone's building like such high resist on their defense aggressor, so um, it's still pretty hard to land Seal. But I think, you know, just having more Seal um, is always nice because you can you can make it so that they they can't use their, their aggression and stuff. She's I wait what type is she? She's an attack type. So she's an attack type with um, HP siphon. So she's basically a self-sustained nuker, which is actually really good. Um, there's not a lot of self-sustained nukers, especially wood ones. There's only the bolt wing. Can't really remember anyone else that that's a self-sustained um, nuker. I, I don't count anyone with adrenaline as a self-sustained nuker because it's not really the same thing. Um, the the ones that have like that, that, that heal a lot more is HP Siphon because if you want to build it with attack because um, the more damage you deal the, the more you heal. I think stat wise she's actually pretty good like yeah like at 4 stars she already already has near 2k attack so if you get her to 6 stars it's gonna be it's gonna be like either two, around 2900 or so I, I estimate um, Alright, so this one's the light one. She's got blind and sap. Um, blind, 100% chance blind. I, I, I talked about blind before, but this is 100% chance, so it's a lot higher to, to land. You probably want to pair her up with another attack down. She's also tank type. Um, she is light. Her stats are... Her HP stats pretty pretty high. The other ones are really, really low, so I, I'm not sure if you want to even build her hybrid. I think... Probably going full tank and then, and then just using her as a sapper probably would be the the optimal um, optimal plan. So this is the dark one. Dark one has HP siphon, um, same skill as the 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 wood one. Wait, what's the difference between attacks restore own HP in portion to the amount of damage dealt versus attacks greatly restore own HP. I think this is a better version of it. I'm not too sure. Um, she is dark type, so dark type monsters do have that nice 100% crit, dam crit damage, base crit damage. Um, so I think she's definitely going to be healing a lot more. I think the dark one is in every way stronger than the wood one. The 80% defense down two turns is also stronger than a one turn 60% chance one turn seal. Um, damn, it'd be pretty awesome to get her. 
All right. Um, the the next monster are the Medusas. I, I actually didn't didn't see them yesterday, but um, they're they're natural three star monsters, and they they have four star and five star versions of um, nat nat four versions or or, or light dark versions. Um, the light dark versions are four stars and five stars. That's what I mean to say. Where the fuck? Just just where the fuck? Like just I I, I want to know where the fuck. Okay, it's right here. Um, pure Petrify, 60% chance. I don't think this is high enough for it to be reliable. Um, I guess CC is always nice if you want to use this for, for Arena. She is tank type. You could possibly build her hybrid. Um, or possibly full tank as well. Sleep and third. I, I don't like these monsters to be honest. Like, sleep is sleep is shit. All right, sleep is pretty shitty. Like, it you can use it for CC, but then that's that's all all there really is to it. And then thirst is not really useful outside of uh. Wait, no, thirst doesn't even work on the boss. So thirst is pretty useless. All right, she's she's shit. I'm sorry. The the water one is actually shit. Um, what else do we have? Sap and blind. So this is a 60% chance for three turn sap, which is, which is actually pretty good. I think you could pros possibly use her for B7, because um, you can put the blind on the boss to, if you want to be really defensive. But then B7 is also really easy. Um, you don't really need to use any unique monsters to do it. So I, I don't really see her being all that useful anywhere. Maybe if you want to make a sapper team for B10, you can get her to Evil 3. It might actually work. Is she tank type? Oh, she's defender type. That actually is pretty good. If you want to just build her as a as a sapper. Um, there's a light dark version. Stun ele elemental edge. 100% chance stun. That's 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 actually pretty good. Um, elemental edge good for for raid bosses. I don't think I need to say too much about this. She's also an attacker, light type, um, base 20% crit. And 1,800 attack. This is actually really high for a four stars. I think it might, it might be close to 3k once once you get her to six stars. So what can the dark one do? Dark one's got blind and attack down. Um, this is actually still good because then it's this combo is still actually really good. I, I did mention this before with the with the uh, with the uh, the the water Neza. I she she had the same skill, but then like just you know backwards. Um, she is dark type, so I think is she an attacker? No, she's she's a tank. Um, wait, she's a tank, but then at four stars, at four stars, her base attack is a thousand nine hundred. And her HP is 3,600. Oh no, this is at six stars. My bad. My bad. Okay, I'm I'm fucking retarded. I thought I thought that was that was her stats at four stars. Oh, we can actually do this now. So this you don't have I don't have to estimate. I can just look at their actual stats. Wait a minute. I might have been mistaken on a lot of their their stats. I might have I might have fucked that up. Yeah, 2,900. I estimated right, right? Si near near 3000 at um at near 6 stars it's actually really high i think the the best medusa is the light one to be honest um this is strong anywhere like elemental edge might be strong against the raid bosses but they're also this is also strong against any any monster like you know um it basically means you deal more damage to them bonus damage regardless of their element Okay, that's 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 it. That's that's all I got. Um, I don't think I really have anything. Can I even rebirth anything? I don't think I have. Um... I can summon one truffle. So someone mentioned yesterday that I can possibly release four stars and then get astrogens back. And then I can use those four stars to those astrogems to summon, and then do more rebirths. I'm not sure if that's that's really a good idea. 
All right, what, what what was I expecting? Like to be honest, I, I I had like one rebirth. What what the fuck was I expecting? Wait, let me just let me just for the sake of an experiment release a random four star. Um, I'll pick this. I'll pick the succubus. Where, where's my where's my damn succubus? I had an extra wood one from yesterday. I, I can't really find her. Where the fuck did she go? Because someone mentioned that you can release four stars for for a chance to get some gems. Oh wait, I think I fed her away. Yeah, I fed her away yesterday. I can't. I my memory's a little bit foggy. All right, I just I. Yesterday was a blur. Yesterday was a complete blur. Alright, I call bullshit. I call bullshit for anyone that, like, mentions, uh, even mentions releasing 4 stars for anything. Maybe, maybe I just had really bad luck. Maybe I should just, maybe just one, or one more, one more. If, if, if it's shit, then, then no more, alright? If it's shit, then no more. Um... Which one? What? What can I release? I guess the Victorias aren't really worth that much because, I mean, I could just fuse more if I if I need to, right? Okay, just for the sake of an experiment, I will release this Victoria. Okay, I call bullshit. I call bullshit whoever for whoever gave me that damn suggestion. I just wasted two monsters. I could have used those for rebirth. Um. But yeah, I'll just I'll just try to capture more monsters and, and use them for rebirth. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That was just me reviewing. Um, I think that was that was it for today's daily video. Um, I I gave more of a detailed analysis of all the new monsters. Hopefully this helped you guys out and best of luck to for the people who still don't have their monas. There's four days left. Better work pretty damn hard. Um, I'm 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 sure to work like I'm sure to farm farm my living like farm the living hell out of uh out of out of out of any of the maps um but then after the 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 uh i don't know i feel like after the the snowies disappear or not snowies the 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 truffles disappeared um i haven't been getting as many three star monsters because you know no truffles but that's pretty much it i'm gonna keep farming um thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace out